From DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com, I'm Darren Marlar, and this is your Daily Dose of Weird News. The 60-year-old leader of a polygamous community in Canada has been found guilty of having 25 wives. <laughs> yeah, I'd say time has already been served, though. He has obviously been punished enough. Justin Bieber has canceled the remaining 15 shows of his Purpose World Tour due to unforeseen circumstances. The decision is on purpose, but we don't know the purpose. According to the book American Bedtime Routines, 18% of Americans allow their pets to sleep in bed with them. Huh, I wonder how many of those were horse owners. A Michigan woman accused of stealing flowers from local cemeteries to decorate her own home has found out what it's going to cost her. A judge in Flint sentenced Lisa Corcoran of Vienna Township on Monday to nine months in jail with credit for 36 days already served. She pleaded guilty in June to attempted larceny of items valued at between $1,000 and $20,000. The 44-year-old Corcoran also will serve three years of probation and perform community service. She was arrested after someone saw a car full of flowers leaving a cemetery. And I think the entire nine months of jail time and her community service should be spent caring for that cemetery. A man in China who claimed he was abducted for two months was eventually released by his captors because he ate too much. <laughs> you know, perhaps that's why I've never been kidnapped. I mean, one look at me and the criminals would have to know they couldn't afford the food budget. President Trump told a crowd Tuesday night in Youngstown, Ohio that, other than Lincoln, he is our most presidential of presidents and believes he could one day be on Mount Rushmore. Um, just… wow. According to a survey, the five U.S. states with the fittest residents are Oregon, New Mexico, Wyoming, Vermont, and Connecticut. Mississippi is ranked as one of the most unhealthy states possibly due to the toxic waste trucked in from Oregon, New Mexico, Wyoming, Vermont, and Connecticut. We can all get stressed and even freak out a little bit from time to time, but the last person you want to find out is having a full-blown nervous breakdown is your pilot. Fortunately, the United Airlines jet hadn't taken off yet. In Austin, Texas, a pilot began addressing passengers via the intercom about her divorce and the presidential election she called both candidates liars before breaking into tears. The plane was still parked on the runway as she spoke, and about half the passengers got up and left. In a since-deleted video posted by a passenger, the pilot can be heard saying, "'Don't worry, I'm going to let my co-pilot fly.'" Yeah, although, after this mental breakdown, I would be wondering if her co-pilot was just a figment of her imagination. Microsoft says that MS Paint will live on and that Sunday's announcement was all a big misunderstanding. In response to the attention the potential removal of Paint received, the company clarified that the popular feature will live on in the Windows Store – for all three people who still use it. There is a sunken Nazi ship off the coast of Iceland possibly carrying $130 million worth of gold. But there is some question as to who gets the gold. I vote me. At $12.9 billion, you'd think an aircraft carrier would have pretty much everything you can think of. And the brand new Gerald R. Ford does. Well, except for one thing – urinals. It's a surprising first for the Navy, which came about following the decision to make every head gender neutral. That will reportedly make it easier for the Navy to pivot and change the corresponding berthing area to housing female sailors versus male and vice versa as the makeup of deployments change. And those are the pros. Now, the cons, according to design experts, are that toilets eat up more space than urinals and are much less sanitary. As one such expert explains, men are more likely to miss their mark in a toilet. Nevertheless, President Trump commissioned the warship on Saturday in Norfolk, Virginia. Don't look for this baby on the high seas anytime soon, though. A battery of at-sea tests and workups are required first, which could take up to four years to complete. People who are blessed to have solid networks of good friends and caring neighbors boost their chances of survival by 50 percent, according to research from Brigham Young University in Provo, Utah. The team analyzed nearly 150 international studies with 300,000 people from four continents that examined the association between survival odds and social networks. 
people who had the strongest social networks were nearly twice as likely to be alive at any given age than those who were lonely. And the opposite is also true. Having just a few friends is as damaging to survival as smoking 15 cigarettes a day or being an alcoholic. Heck, I've got over 3,000 friends on Facebook, so I'm like immortal, right? There's a 38% chance you'll catch the flu if someone in your household is infected. But according to trends in microbiology, you can cut your risk by washing your hands often. And also avoiding licking the palms of that sick person. A Florida family was jolted awake one recent morning, startled to find that 15 pounds of frozen meat had crashed onto their roof. Travis Adair says, "...it was like thunder and it awakened me out of a sleep." When family members went outside to investigate, they found two packages of frozen Italian pork sausage in their yard and three more on the roof. Adair adds that the meat sacks must have fallen from above, since they were too heavy to have been thrown onto the roof from the ground. His wife, Jenny, speculated the meat fell from a plane and may have related to a drug deal. Yes, because underground black market drug transactions are also done using stuff you can get from any grocery store deli counter. The San Francisco Bay Area McDonald's is testing out crab sandwiches. It gets really soggy, though, when you dip it into the melted butter. While going through his storage, Alice Cooper discovered some art that could be worth millions. You know, it's nice to know that an aging rock star put something away for his future, well, even if he forgot he put it away. Ex-White House spokesman Sean Spicer needed a mini-fridge when he started with the Trump administration, so he allegedly took one from an office of junior staffers. The Wall Street Journal reports that about a month into his short run on the national stage, Spicer lacked a fridge to keep his lunch and beverages chilled. So he sent one of his aides to the office in a building near the White House. The young staffers told the Spicer aide that they would not give up their mini-fridge, so Spicer waited until they left, sneaked into their office, and carried the fridge up the White House driveway around 8 p.m. one night. Wow! Stealing from the less powerful below you right from the first day! That's got to be a record! Cat Zodia in Malaysia is the world's first five-star hotel for cats. The hotel swimming pool is almost never crowded. The 2018 Ford Mustang GT will be the fastest ever 0 to 60 miles per hour, although Ford is not saying precisely how fast. Thanks to a new 10-speed automatic transmission, electronic drag mode, and upgraded 5.0-liter V8 engine. Exactly what you need for that stop-and-go rush hour traffic. Never miss a single episode of the show. You can download the free Marler House mobile app. In the app, you can find links to my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, watch my videos, listen to my podcasts, sign up for the Marler Sheet newsletter to automatically be registered for giveaways, buy t-shirts or mugs, download audiobooks I've narrated, see my latest blog posts, and more. The Marler House mobile app is free for iOS and Android users. Download it now by clicking the mobile app tab at darrenmarler.com or search for Marler House in your phone app store. Please support my channel by sharing the daily dose of weird news on Facebook, Twitter, Reddit, and other social networks. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe if you want to see more. And click that little bell icon next to the subscribe button to be notified when I post new videos. Find even more weird news that I didn't have time for at DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. I'm Darren Marlar, and I'll see you next time, weirdos!